Okay, here's an example of a loop that is going to allow us to ask the user for five numbers uh, as input, add those numbers together, and give us the sum as the output. Uh, and we know that because if we look at, remember the three important parts of the loop, where do we initialize? So our count here is initialized to zero. Uh, where are we going to stop? So we check our loop test. As long as count is still less than five, we're going to go into the loop. And then we check our increment, and we're getting there by one. We're incrementing by one each time. So zero through four will go through the loop, so that will be five times. Um, we did have to add a few new things here uh, to keep track of each number each time, because we're using this number variable to get all five uh, numbers. We lose it each time we get a new number. The old one is replaced. So we have to have another variable called an accumulator keep, to keep track of the partial sum, or the sum so far. Uh, so we see here sum equals sum, the old value, plus uh, the number. Okay, and we'll see how that works. Another important part of an accumulator is to make sure we initialize. So we see here sum is equal to zero. That's so the first time through, uh, sum being equal to zero plus the first number is still just uh, that first number. Okay, let's step through this loop. We'll click on debug. Step into our the F8 key. And we get our variables set up. And I'll hit F8 now. Notice we jump. Uh, the blinking light here is the step we're on. So this is the next step to run. I'll hit F8 again. Sum is initialized to zero. Count is less than five, so we'll go into this. Uh, it should ask me for the number. It does. I'll put in number one. That goes into RAM. I'm going to hit F8 again. Sum equals sum plus number, so we get our accumulator. Okay, so number one plus zero is one, so that was okay. We'll increment our count. Okay, by one. We'll hit F8. Uh, our second number, let me just put in 2. Say OK. There's number 2. F8 again. And we've got our total so far. F8 again. We'll increment. Okay. Asking for our next number, we'll put in 3. Okay. If I hit F8, we should accumulate here. Get our next value. So the six so far. Increment our count. Okay, as for our next number, we'll put in four. Okay, accumulate. Eight. Increment the count. One more number. Okay, F8 to accumulate, increment the count, okay, we're at 5 now, so when we get to this loop test, it shoots us out, next step is to output, F8, and it pops up our message box here, the total sum of all the numbers uh, is 15, so that appeared to work for us. Now if we wanted to change this loop uh, so that it worked for 10 numbers instead of 5, what would we change? All we'd have to change is this number here uh, in the loop test to 10, and now it would work for 10 numbers uh, instead of just 5.